We're all good. Cool. Your name and occupation. Uh, Steven. Thirst Trapper. What's up, guys? Um, I'm doing a Q&A video because I decided I looked at my last Q&A video and just the hype, the excitement in the video was not there, so I decided to uh, to make a new one. So hopefully it'll be better, you know. First things first, I did hit 500k on TikTok, and I just really want to say thank you so much. I really do appreciate it, and I am very much so thankful for it. Thank you so much. Okay, so I have about 15 questions. I'm gonna answer all of them. So Let's get started, shall we? The first question is, would you ever do a meet and greet? Um, so I only have 500,000, which is still a lot of people. That's half a million. Um, but I don't think anybody would really show up to my meet and greet except maybe three people. So right now, no, I would not do a meet and greet. Maybe if I ever have 10 million, I will. <laughs> Hashtag Steven, best YouTuber. When will you upload a new video? Right now. Best moment I've had in high school. Um, I am still in high school, I'm a senior. Graduating this year, it's crazy. Um, I didn't have to talk about graduation, because I'm the senior class secretary, and I'm just not ready for that. They don't have to say anything crazy, I have to say the names, but I'm not gonna do that. But um, um, best moment I've had, definitely just the football and basketball games, because you know, my school, we don't have a good student section, but when we do, it's it's nice. You know, it's it's just good. Our football team and basketball teams are good, so it really gives you a good experience. Is there something that I am passionate about to the point to the point of talking four hours? Um, this is how I, I started my college essay with this. Like this, this was the prompt that I chose. And I could talk about social media for hours, not just about social media, you know, people on it, about how it's so addicting and how it's a, it's a never, it's a never ending tunnel. You know what I mean? Um, I'm not going to get into it, but that, that is definitely something or even the universe, the galaxy and how it's just so big and we really just don't know what's going on out there. You know what I mean? What made you start your account, Steven? Um, Okay, I'm gonna be honest. About two years ago, sophomore year, I saw my friend, he posted on TikTok. He got some likes, he got like maybe like 70,000 likes and I was just like, yo, let's do it. But like my main account, it wasn't gonna blow up. My musical account, the one I've had since I've been in fourth grade. Um, so I made a whole new account, I made a secret identity. I was anonymous underscore one, two, three, four, two, one, eight, seven. And nobody knew my name, nobody knew my Instagram, nobody knew anything about me except my username was anonymous and they knew my face. No, no, they knew nothing else about me. And that's, you know, I really kept the anonymous factor. You know, later on I did tell them my name, my Instagram, my, all, everything. But for till I hit 10K, I was anonymous. And I know that's not the question, but I kind of went into it, so. It's also three o'clock in the morning right now as I'm recording this. Favorite song slash artist? Well, at the moment, I am currently just obsessed with Elvis Presley. I listen to him on repeat in the car. So as of January 21st, I am obsessed with Elvis Presley. Guilty. Um, it's just, the music is just so perfect. Um, <laughs> Where did you get your tapestry? Well, I have multiple tapestries. Um, I have a Bertram Tapestry, another Bertram Tapestry, Nicki Minaj Tapestry, a Bibble Tapestry. And those are all the tapestries I have. Oh, and then a cat riding a horse tapestry. What was the biggest advice you've ever gotten? You know, I chose this, this question. And I don't even know what the biggest advice I've ever got, gotten was. It's probably... Don't ever forget who you really are. Like, don't forget, you know, who you used to be. Don't just become an entirely different person. You know, sometimes it's for the best, but don't forget about your past. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
how did I blow up? Um, I really don't know. Uh, this is what I look like back when I started my account. You know, it did take me, it took me two years. It took me a year and a half just to get 100K, which is insane because that is so many people. Um, you know, I just kept posting. I have 3,000 and like 500 videos. I have so many videos. Um, so yeah. So I don't know how I blew up, but maybe they just like my face. I mean, that's kind of the whole central point of my account. So how do I feel about my name? Oh, how do I feel? How do you feel about your fame? Um, at right now, I feel like my TikTok clout, it's at the point where it's not affecting my life at all, you know? You know, sometimes people come up to me and are, are you the guy, whatever, and that I'm awkward, so it's kind of awkward for me, but I really do love that. And I appreciate that. Um, so that's a cool factor of it. Now, in the future, if I end up like Bryce Hall, you know, I might be surrounded, but I probably won't because I don't want that. But um, right now, I feel like I, I, I enjoy what's going on. I really love it. I didn't even expect to make it this far. So once again, thank you so much, guys. And if you're watching this video, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate you. Um, cats or dogs? Cats. Sorry, I got I got sidetracked by showing my cat. Um, watch Barbie for a whole day or My Little Pony for four hours. Um, I'm a horse boy. I would gladly watch little My Little Pony for four hours. Did I expect to become TikTok famous? You know, ever since eighth grade, I, I've been trying, you know, something with TikTok. You know, I've given up, of course, because it didn't go anywhere. Um, so the fact that I'm at 500,000 right now just baffles me because I never expected to make it this far. If I ever, once my account started getting a following, I was like, okay, I could probably make it to 50 or maybe 100K, and that's it. But I am at 500,000 people, so I never expected to get there. I really did not expect to get there. Um, it's just insane to me. It blows my mind, and I really do appreciate it. This, this question is for my boy, Lunik. Um, what are your goals for 2023, and what do you want to do after high school? Um, goals for 2023, you know, graduate. I think I'll, I think I'll graduate, so I'm pretty set on that. Um, I, I want to. I really do want to succeed more on TikTok, get a more followers, you know, blow up more, make it to a million. That's the goal. Will I get there? We don't know. I mean, I have a whole year to do it, so we can only pray and we can only hope. Um, and what do I want to do after high school? I still want to do TikToks, you know. Some people get embarrassed by it. I find fun in it. It's kind of fun. You know, you meet cool people. Um, some great people, actually. And I, I'm planning to go to college. I got accepted in the college. I, I applied to college, got accepted into college. And um, I'll go into college. I'll study business, do some accounting, maybe marketing. Um, and yeah. Last question. Steven. How old were you when you had your first kiss? Um, I was 12 years old. It was spin the bottle. And like an apartment thing. I was like hanging out with a friend and it was this whole thing. Um, but yeah, she was taller, taller than me. I was 4'11 all the way to like freshman year of high school. And now I am 5'10. So I'm really, I really made it. You know, I almost made it far. So yeah. Um, but yeah, I was 12. Um, okay guys, sadly, that's all I have. Um, not that many people ask questions on my story, so it was kind of, you know, I had to work with what was good. Um, thank you so much for watching this video if you are watching this clip right now. Um, and watch try to put more enthusiasm in it, try to be a little louder, I was like whispering in the last one, and we don't want that, you know what I mean? So yeah, I really do appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, I appreciate you for liking, I appreciate you for subbing, I appreciate you for watching again. Um, following me anywhere, I appreciate you. I appreciate you so much. 
And I just want you guys to know I do really appreciate you guys. And that's all. So I just hope you guys all have a good morning, a good afternoon, and a good night wherever you guys happen to be at this very moment. Thanks for watching.